dumb but is here to entertain you. Things seem not to have ended up so well in the very last witness session in the High Court of Law as far as Senzo Meiwa's case is concerned. Of course, the very last witness we had is no other person than Senzo Meiwa's best friend, Tumelo Madlala. And this man standing right here literally refused to detail out exactitude of what happened as he kept contradicting his statements. He kept contradicting other people's statements and everything was just looking at him to be hiding so much information. This is very much weird, knowing fully well that you are someone's best friend but still cannot act accordingly. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a new witness that is expected to take stand at Meiwa's trial, so do well to watch this video right up to its end. Before doing so, you're welcome to this channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video, and hit on to my post notification bell. The Senzo Meiwa trial at a high court in Pretoria has been postponed to Monday after defense advocate Timothy Tobane requested for an early adjournment. Tobane, who represents accused number 1 to 4, said he had been given an instruction by one of his clients and needs time to follow up on the instructions, noting that he will update the court with more details when the trial resumes. A new witness is actually expected to take stand on Monday after the state wrapped up the cross-examination of Tumelo Madlala on Friday. Meanwhile, Madlala has been instructed to refrain from being in contact with potential witnesses until they have testified. This same Madlala, who happens to be Meiwa's then best friend, who was present when the Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates goalkeeper his life was claimed, is actually highly noted to be a lie teller and a fake best friend according to South Africans and Zanzi as a whole because he actually proves that he is definitely not wanting to spill out the entirety of what happened to Senzo Meiwa on that night. Several believe that he knows exactly what happened to his best friend but he doesn't want to but wants to use the opportunity to actually cash out huge amounts of money. As we can actually see that Netflix paid him so much money in order for him to disclose some very vital pictures of Senzo Meiwa and of course to grant them at a possible interview for the Senzo Meiwa documentary. While he was in court, he deliberately refused and rejected that his face should be shown. But in the documentary, we could see his face. Does that actually mean that because they gave him money, they could buy his image? This time around, things are going so weird. And seems like we might be getting Longwe Twala on panel on Monday as given to the fact that his father Chiku Twala has given a go ahead that it is very possible that his son can actually be in stance in court. Also, Zandi Kumaro revealed to us that she is ready, willing and able to actually testify alongside with her sister in the South African High Court. But there is just one thing, the media needs to be absent and their voices are not going to be recorded according to what she says. I understand her fully well and of course we know that the Kumalo family has been through hell and back during this very short few years since Senzo Meiwa departed from this world. Matladla is definitely damning so many evidence and some evidence has emerged since he took the stand in September. He was confronted with questions that took him back to the day of the claiming of life of Senzo, even shedding tears at some point during his testimony. Matladla is definitely a very emotional person but some people even believe that all of those things were cool. They were all plotted in order to attract the appeasement, to attract the sympathy of so many South Africans so that the negative etiquette will not be on him no more. You will tell me what you think about this unveiance in the comment section.